So as a busy working mom, I will sometimes leave the house and think, oh my gosh, did I remember to close the garage door? Or someone will want to drop something off and I really don't want them leaving it in the driveway or on the front steps. Well, in this episode, I'm going to tell you about my smart garage door opener, why I have it, how I use it, and why I think it's a super important smart home tech. Let's go. Hi, I'm Jen Sylvester from Remax Platinum here in historic Plymouth, Massachusetts. And today's episode is about smart tech and specifically smart garage door openers. The smart garage opener I use is the Chamberlain MyQ Smart Garage. It allows me to control my garage doors from anywhere. I can open them and close them right from the app on my phone. I can also get alerts that'll tell me when the garage door opens and closes and what time that it actually happened. So how does it work? So depending on your model, you may have the MyQ built into the existing garage door opener, or you can add it on after the fact. If you need to add it on after the fact, there's a little module that you would need to install next to the garage door opener uh, in line of sight of the actual door. And then there's a hub that connects to your Wi-Fi. If you have the MyQ already built into your garage door opener, then you'll just have to get the hub that attaches to your Wi-Fi. Once it's connected to your Wi-Fi, as long as your Wi-Fi is active at your home, you have access to that on your smartphone anywhere in the world. It will also work with other brands outside of Chamberlain. Additionally, they just came out with a HomeKit adapter so that if you wanted to use it as a standalone app, you could do that. You could get the HomeKit adapter hub as well, so it'll actually integrate into your existing HomeKit app. So why do you need it? Why do I think it's a real valuable addition to my smart home tech? First and foremost, it's peace of mind. Knowing that when you leave the house and you can check to see if those garage doors closed or go to bed to see if you remember to close the garage door um, or set the, the timer. So I have it set for a certain time of day to automatically close. Even if the garage doors are closed, it'll just bypass that command. But if I did forget to check and I didn't check the app before I went to bed, it would automatically close those garage doors at a certain time. So the other reason is remote access and monitoring to make your life a little easier. Uh, if someone wants to drop something off and you don't want to necessarily give them the code to the garage, you can handle that remotely. If you have the Ring floodlight cam, link to the video I did recently is up here, uh, you can actually monitor and you'll get an alert, emotional alert when that person is in your driveway, get a video, yes, that's the person that you want to let in, remotely open the garage, and then as soon as they get in the car, remotely close the garage. It offers a level of convenience, uh, an overview that you just can't get anywhere else. So that's my favorite garage door opener, Smart Tech. If you have any questions, please let me know. And if you like this video, please subscribe. I post videos like this every Wednesday on real estate, community, and home tech. Thank you for watching. We'll see you soon.